hello friends uh, today we are going to create a simple asp.net mvc project using code first approach in entity framework so the following steps are needed to uh, develop the mvc project first one is create a data model second one is database context third one is connection string for that you need to open a visual studio 2015 so let us open visual studio 2015 and we go step by step in order to create the code first demo so first uh, we will open this visual studio 2015 and uh, click the new project uh, click uh, asp dot web application and name this project as simple code first demo select this mvc template uh, and it will create the default uh, mvc template for us yeah it is created so you can see the solution architecture here you can see the controller model and views the default uh, template for the mvc architecture so next thing you need to create a data model for that you go to model folder and create a new entity class called user.cs so go to model folder and right click it and create a class called user.cs so next uh, in order to save the time i already typed the code for user so just copy it and uh, i need to paste here next thing i need to create the database context for that i need to create a dal folder so go to the solution and right click it uh, and add a dal folder here the second point is to create the database context so right click and right click and create the user context dot cs user context dot cs so now to save the time so uh, that file also i already have it so just copy that one and paste here so here uh, it inherits from the db context db context is nothing but uh, data entity class uh, so it comes from data entity name space uh, so entity is a dll or a namespace which will connect to our sql server database and get the data for us so that's the purpose we inherit from the db context and also in constructor you are inheriting from the base user context so base user context is nothing but uh, uh, where you need to uh, create the connection string exactly the same the same name so here user context i have given so the same name you have to create the uh, connection string in the web.config so here i have called the custom db initializer so it is there for to create a test data so initially i am giving i am just uh, putting some three records uh, as a test data and it will be uh, inserted in the database so that part will be done using the database dot set initialization and next thing is to create the another class called the custom db initialization so go to the dal folder and add a class called custom db initializer so here also i have the file so 
let's copy it and paste here. So what uh, what is the code here? Let us see that. So here I have just uh, inherited from the drop create database if model changes of user context. So what it does means uh, it will uh, I whenever the model gets changed uh, at that time only it will create the database. Uh, actually it will create the database automatically for us uh, by using the user context connection string. Uh, so here I am seeding the data. So I have the list called users. There I have three users, username, password and email. And for each user I am adding this to the context uh, that is uh, in the database uh, and save the changes. Uh. This is what the custom DB initializer does. Uh. Next one to create the connection string uh, in the web.config. Uh. So go to web.config uh, and uh, just remove this default connection. go to the connection string here just copy it and paste over here so here I have given the code first DB so let us create a new DB here code first DB2 so, so this DB will be automatically created whenever this user context gets called because the user context uh, which is passed as a parameter here it will be referred in the connection string here using this it will connect to the SQL server and create this code first db2 database uh, for, for us next you need to create the user controller uh. so go to the controller and uh, add user controller select MEC file controller MT and user controller here So here what I am doing is, uh, I am calling this user context here. So we need to call this namespace. So I am calling this user context and uh, passing as a parameter to the view, that is user controller view. So just right click and uh, create the add view for this user. Here, what I'm doing is uh, I'm just calling the collection uh, user collection through IU numerable class. So you need to give at model, uh, then only it will take the model layer here. Uh, and uh, I am iterating the each user uh, in the model and uh, displaying it as the records uh, that is username and a model record uh, so this display name for is the uh, heading and display for is the uh, uh, item uh. so here you can give uh, list of users 